Welcome into this week's Degrees of Science. You know, when you start talking degrees in STEM related fields and STEM careers, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming and uh, kind of daunting to learn about that. But today we've got someone that makes the field of physics a whole lot of fun. We've got Dr. Tatiana Yurkomova. Dr. Tanya, Tatiana, I'm sorry, I butchered your name, but a lot of people may know you as a famous YouTuber. How, uh, tell us about your, your fun videos you do and just how amazing, how big those videos have got. Yes, we were thrilled when we got to the point when we had one million subscribers to the departmental at uh, the Department of Texas and uh, Physics and Astronomy YouTube channel. It's it's it was surreal and it is still growing. And you know, we are very, a very small team and we try to post once per week and we are really grateful to all people who joined us and who stayed with us. And um, it's a very important mission of the Department of Physics and Astronomy to make physics accessible and enjoyable for people. We have so many demonstrations that we are happy to share with everyone. Yeah, and speaking of your demonstrations, did you ever think you would have a bicycle wheel spinning around and have 80 million people watch you do that experiment? Never. <laughs> Ever, <laughs> never, ever. Uh, so this is a demonstration that we all do in our classes when we teach mechanics class. And um, you know, the story actually started, I, I have been doing these demonstrations for a while. So uh, for many years, mostly for the physics shows, when children, K-12 students would come to the physics department and I would do physics demonstrations for them to impress them. Uh, and. Um, a year and a half ago, our marketing team, led by Ryan Carmichael, decided to come and film me during this physics show. They made a small um, short clip. They posted it on TikTok, and it went viral. That was unexpected, let me tell you this. And then that's when I was mostly surprised that these short videos that were posted on the Department TikTok channel, were just, they collected tens of millions of views. People were watching them and that, that was wonderful. And that's when we got a call actually from a local TV station. And they told us, are you aware that physics uh, channel has more views than Texas and m football. <laughs> um, uh, that was wonderful. And, uh, you know, people uh, use different social media channels. For us, it's way to share our demonstrations with people. So YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. I hope I didn't forget anything. I don't have social media myself. Now we mostly post on uh, YouTube shorts. And this video is collected tens of millions. I think I can now say hundreds of millions of views. And yes, this bike wheel video has 80 million views, which is absolutely surreal. And it's a fun demo. So you take a bike wheel, um, you connect the axle uh, to a rope, you hang the axle of the bike wheel on a rope, you start spinning the bike wheel, and then you release it. And the bike wheel becomes a flying wheel. So it keeps spinning and it also goes into, into a larger circle, the motion that is called precession. This is a wonderful demonstration and I'm so happy that it is so popular and people around the world, those who are not in mechanics class, who don't take introductory mechanics, they still see the video, these demonstrations, they know about it and they enjoy it. And I like to do all kinds of demonstrations. Some are more sophisticated and some are very simple that you can do from household materials. Um, People can do it at home, and uh, I believe that it has a big value, and I'm so happy when people actually start doing these demonstrations that we share with them at home. Is there certain experiments, the hands-on kind of stuff you show, that really gets a, a big reaction from the kids? Um, during the physics show, when, when I have the presentation, I like to start with the big cloud and that's always create this you know <laughs> physics is the best um uh liquid nitrogen i use liquid nitrogen it's a temperature that is 400 fahrenheit colder than temperature of your skin so if you just pour liquid nitrogen there will be a cloud condensation water vapor will be condensed 
because of low temperature plague with nitrogen. And then if you take a pot and you put boiling water, pour boiling water in this pot, and then you throw liquid nitrogen, huge difference in temperature. And then there is just, you know, fountain of this steam coming out. It's a huge cloud and children love it. And then what we try to do, if we don't have enormous group, we allow them to walk in this cloud. And that's another great experiment. You're walking in the cloud. So, you know, there's a lot of push for STEM related education. And, and, and do you think your shows are really helping to kind of put a good view on, you know, some people get scared of physics and stuff like that with the math and science, but how fun it can be and what kind of possibilities there are with it? What we started doing with the social media, for us, it's just another way to share our demonstrations and share our passion for physics. Uh, we, when millions of people watch physics demonstration and enjoy them, so we are made, we, we are making impact that we didn't didn't even hope for, and I think that's that's just another way to communicate with people. We are posting short videos on YouTube um, and on other channels, so you they're very short. You cannot learn much from them, but you can get interested, or you just can have uh, this fun moment in your weekly, weekly, weekly schedule. Fun with physics for, for a minute. And uh, people, people watch these videos around the world, around the country. I think this, and they, they do this, these experiments at home. And I think that, yes, these videos help to erase this barrier that, oh, physics is hard and elite and just a few people. Not everyone uh, will become a physicist, but uh, everyone should enjoy physics and uh, be able to do this experiment. And you know, some of these experiments are so simple. You can you can do it at home. You just take a wine cork and a toothpick. I don't know if you see it. And you try to balance it on the tip of your finger. You cannot because it will fall because center of gravity is here. And then you will do completely counterintuitive thing. You will take a fork and you will insert it. And of course you have to be careful. Don't don't hurt your fingers when you do this. And then watch. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's balanced now. Now this fork bends it it is it is now towards my finger. You see, I moved send the center of gravity towards my finger. So you probably don't see it, you'll see it better in blue background like this. Um we balance it. I move to the center of gravity under my finger, which means I balance it. So I like also not only sophisticated demonstrations, but also the simple things that people do at home. And it helps It helps to, them um, to You know, you're, you're talking about taking it home. I'm wondering how many parents were worried when their kids were trying to stand on eggs and stuff like that, like you showed. With the eggs, I put the eggs on the table and then you start adding weight because uh, I put a tray first and then the pressure is distributed. It's a very safe demonstration, except one for one thing, you create a mess, but it's fun. When I did um, potato demonstration, potato on the knife and you you put the potato on the, mm. on the tip of the kitchen knife. So obviously, you know, everyone has a kitchen, everyone has a knife in the kitchen. So it's not just physics, it's it's kitchen, it's your kitchen. But when you do these demonstrations, there are several tips and I, I mentioned them. I always try to make it safe. So when you hold it and you hit it and instead of the potato falling down, it goes up because of inertia, it's inertial. So the knife goes through the potato. That's why you, you see like, oh, it seems like the potato goes up. But now the question is, okay, so you have the knife and the potato, what to do with this? And uh, to prevent people trying to, you know, touch the potato on the blade, I showed how to remove the potato with the, with the mallet uh, safely and then put. So we put a lot of thought uh, to put some rules. I always love talking to kids because you know 100% if you've got their attention or not, they don't hide. Now adults, they can have fun, but they just don't get as wild and into it as kids. So for you, why is it so important to, to kind of plant that seed of interest in those young kids about how, how fun physics can be? Two things. I believe that it's a mission of every academic department 
to share their knowledge, to share their past passion for their subject with the general public. And Ed Fry started this tradition, and I, uh, the whole department uh, keep keep this tradition alive. We all come together on the day of the festival to share our knowledge, to show our demonstrations, to celebrate science, to celebrate physics. It's really important for the students. Uh, it enriches educational experience of the students. And when I'm saying it, it's not just words. It's also data. We ran a study. And this study showed that through the explanation of physics behind hands-on demonstrations, through building new hands-on demonstrations that our students um, uh, show to the general public, they get so much from this experience. They improve their communication skills. They understand concepts better. They uh, get recognition as science professional from the general public, from their professors. Our students feel that they belong. They belong. They, they make a difference. They serve as role model for these uh, children who come uh, to the festival who come to the to our outreach events and I believe this is really important and of course it's it's obvious that when children come on Texas and m campuses and they get they get excited and uh, it, it makes their day I do these demonstrations and they love it and they they remember this they come some of them come again and bring their families it's a highlight and I believe this is this is two way, uh, both way win, both parties win, the university and the general public. So it's win, it's a win for everyone. Tell us about your engineering and uh, uh, physics festival. I mean, you have over 5,000 people that show up to it each year, right? So before the pandemic, it's Texas and m Physics and Engineering Festival, yes. Before the pandemic, we had 7,000 people coming to the festival. Uh, Ed Fry founded the festival in 2003. At that time, it was uh, um, quite a small event. We had just a dozen of hands-on demonstrations and lecture by Stephen Hawking. And um, uh, since then, the festival has grown a lot and it is now a big event before the pandemic, 7,000 people, then the pandemic hit. We didn't give up. Uh, we ran a virtual festival. We learned a lot in a very short period of time. We had amazing team. Um, so virtual festival was a big success and uh, people joined us from all over the country. Actually, people come to the festival not only from Texas, but also from other states. And during this virtual festival, during the pandemic, people joined us from all over the country. That was amazing. I think that this is the festival uh, organized by um, by the university, by the Department of Physics and Astronomy, is is a great example of service provided by the department. And hands-on demonstrations are the heart of the festival. And of course, we have something that brings people together. The grand finale. Do you know what what is our, is our grand finale? Do you know this demonstration? Is that the one I've seen? Is that where you, the the blows up and all the balls go flying everywhere? Yes. That's right. That's right. So you take a two liter bottle from soda, soda bottle, you pour liquid nitrogen there just a little bit, then you seal the bottle, you put it in the barrel with water and keep it down. So we have an anchor attached to each bottle. And then what happens? Liquid nitrogen evaporates, it expands and expands. And finally, it turns into gas and uh, it breaks the bottle and huge fountain of water comes out and we add of course this colorful plastic balls so children just love it then they run and collect these balls those are collectibles there is a date of the festival on each of these uh, plastic balls so every year we have a different one <laughs> well, you can see very easily the the love and passion you have for physics so where, where did this get started for you? You get this passion from communication with children. When you see these eyes, that they understand, they get it, they, they enjoy it. Kids of all ages. You know who are the best physicists? Kindergarten kids. So they're right there, science, they respect it, they enjoy it, they, they're ready to participate in all experiments that you throw at them. Um, and also I get this, um, excitement, I get, I recharge my battery from students because over years we realized that um, 
our events that we call outreach events, our great Texas A&M Physics and Engineering Festival, when the professors and students spent all day sharing their passion for physics with the public, um, physics shows. All these events have a really big impact on our students, students who facilitate these activities, on university students. These activities enrich their educational experience, and this aspect is very important for them. Dr. Tatiana, I appreciate you taking time with us. I, I, you know, like I said, uh, I, I love physics. It was part of my, my meteorology major that I had, but you know, like I said, the, the smile you put on people's face, even if it's for those short videos, uh, uh, you know, I think it catches their attention and hopefully will kind of grow their love for the science. But I appreciate you taking some time to talk with us and sharing your love for the science. Thank you. Thank you.